Okay, close. A brief introduction, a short introduction. Before we have to get understanding of clause itself, we need to see the difference among clause, phrase, and sentence. Clause is a group of words consisting of subject and verb. Remember, subject and verb. For example, the man drinks. The man is subject. Drinks is verb. The woman walks. The woman subject walks into verb. Phrase. Phrase is a group of words not consisting. Remember, not consisting of subject and verb. For example, cold water. There is no subject. There is no verb. On the chair. There is no subject. There is no verb. Under the table, there is no subject, there is no verb, and so on and so on. Sentence is a group of words with complete meaning. The point that you need to emphasize about sentence is every sentence must have a complete meaning. You cannot say just the man drinks because you do not know what the man drinks. Anda tak boleh cuma mengatakan laki-laki itu meminum. Ia minum apa? Bisa aja minum air, bisa aja minum air mata, atau bisa saja minum sedotan dan lain sebagainya. So you have to complete this clause to be a sentence, and you need to put an object. The man drinks cold water, or you can say the man drinks water. It's fine. Karena posisinya the man itu subjek, drinks itu verb dan membutuhkan objek. Objeknya terserah, bisa noun, bisa noun phrase. Kalau noun berarti water, kalau noun phrase itu cold water atau hot water atau yang lain sebagainya. Jadi sudah jelas perbedaan close phrase and sentence. Types or classes of clause, there are only two: main clause and subordinate clause. Before we get further to understand about clause, I need to give the highlight here. Clause is a set of words that can express an idea. It can be plain or complex. Just take a look to make it simple. John is singing. One clause. Lizzie wants to go out. Comma. But the rain comes. Two clauses. The blue types and the green types. James likes cooking, but Sasha likes football because she wants to be a footballer. There, there are blue types, green types, and yellow types. There are three clauses. Larry likes candy because she likes sweet, while Sandy likes kebab because she likes spicy. Blue types, green types, yellow types, red types. Four clauses. A clause is not signified or marked with a full stop mark. Jadi yang namanya klausa tidak boleh diberi titik karena maknanya belum lengkap. It is sentence that is ended with a full stop mark. Hanya kalimat yang boleh diakhiri dengan titik atau tanda tanya atau tanda seru. Now I'm talking about the types of clause. Main clause. Main clause is independent clause. Independent clause can stand alone as a sentence. Keistimewaan dari main clause atau independent clause, dia bisa berdiri sendiri. Kalau bisa berdiri sendiri, maka dia sudah memenuhi makna di dalam clause itu sendiri. To make it simple, just take a look at this example. I see a woman who is sad. Itu sebuah kalimat I see a woman who is sad Tapi ada dua clause di sana I see a woman independent clause Who is sad Itu dependent clause If you try to change it to be I see a woman Kalau anda menghapus who is sad Dan menggantinya menjadi I see a woman saja It's fine It is allowed It is 
main clause and it is full enough to be a complete meaningful sentence jadi dia bisa menjadi sebuah kalimat ICU menjadi lengkap why? because there is subject I there is verb C and there is object a woman the red underlines give complete meaning subject, verb, and object kehadiran atau ketakhadiran yang ditulis biru atau who is said sana will not affect anything to the existence of the sentence as a complete meaning Catatan, who di sana itu pengganti sebagai pengganti dari subjek. Subjeknya siapa? Subjek the woman. Okay, just take a look and focus on the red type because it is the main clause. The boy met a friend who is nice to him. Jadi the boy met a friend itu main clause. My mother is cooking salad main clause. Keterangan waktunya while I'm sleeping ketika saya sedang tidur. Anda nggak boleh cuma mengatakan ketika saya sedang tidur titik. Iya, ada apa yang terjadi? So the main clause is my mother is cooking salad. When the virus is spreading, some people do not take the threats seriously because she left me. I'm dying all day long. Ingat semua kalimat jika di dalamnya ada independent clause yang didahului oleh dependent clause, maka diberi koma di antara mereka. Because she left me koma, I'm dying all day long. Kalau anda menulisnya I'm dying all day long because she left me Gak perlu koma di tengah-tengahnya I always listen to my heart But my heart never listen to my head Itu adalah contoh-contoh main clause Ingat perbedaan main clause dan dependent clause Main clause bisa bertindir sendiri Tapi kalau independent, dependent clause tidak bisa bertindir sendiri Maknanya tidak lengkap Jadi seperti itu Now, it is about subordinate clause. Subordinate clause is called dependent clause. Dependent clause cannot stand alone as a sentence. Ingat, semua yang dependent, semua yang ketergantungan tidak bisa berdiri sendiri atau mandiri. Tidak memiliki makna yang lengkap. To make it simple, just take a look at this example. I see a woman who is sad. Kalau Anda mengandungnya menjadi who is sad saja, it is not allowed. Because it is not clear Yang sedih Titik Duh, Iya, siapa yang sedih? Your mother, your mama, your neighbor, your friend Who else? Gak jelas Jadi yang paling melengkap di sana adalah I see a woman Ingat, who is sad gak bisa berdiri sendiri The blue underlined gives no complete meaning Tidak memberi makna yang lengkap It needs the, pres uh, it needs the presence of the main clause It ini butuh kehadiran dari main clause Ketidakhadiran dari the red types atau main clause will affect to the meaning of this point. Okay, to make it simple, just take a look on these examples. Focus on the blue type. The boy met a friend who is nice to him. My mother is cooking salad while I am sleeping. When the virus is spreading, coma, some people do not take the threat seriously. Because she left me, I am dying all day long. Jadi semua yang diketik biru itu adalah dependent clause. Mereka semua tidak bisa berdiri sendiri tanpa independent clause. Jadi independent clause itu bisa berdiri sendiri Tapi dependent clause nggak bisa berdiri sendiri Itu sama kayak laki-laki itu butuh perempuan Tapi perempuan nggak butuh laki-laki You can debate it Okay, I always listen to my heart But my heart never listen to my head Catatan, if you erase but This sentence will have too many clause Contoh terakhir Itu kalau but-nya dihapus Diberi titik di sana I always listen to my heart titik Kemudian my heart never listen to my head titik itu artinya menjadi dua kalimat atau dua main clause.
Ada tiga jenis subordinate clause Noun clause, adjective clause, adverb clause Now I'm talking about noun clause Noun clause is a clause that acts or rules as a noun in sentence Semua klausa yang bertindak sebagai kata benda atau objek di dalam suatu kalimat Maka dia adalah noun clause Intinya seperti itu Jadi dilihat statusnya atau peran dia di dalam kalimat apa sebagai kata benda Berarti dia noun clause Biasanya menggunakan kata that, who, whom, whatever, whomever, and so on and so on To make it simple, just take a look at this example Focus on the underline Karena yang digaris bawah itu adalah klausa Sansa, it's whatever she wants Whatever she wants, klausa itu bertindak sebagai kata benda di dalam kalimat Sansa, it's whatever she wants Whatever she wants bisa diganti menjadi all Maka kalimatnya menjadi Sansa, it's all All itu kan objek atau kata benda Diganti menjadi klausa, whatever she wants Berarti dia non-clause Whatever you say, expand your mind You can change it Your words, expand your mind Your words, itu sama dengan what you say What you say itu klausa, your words itu frasa Posisinya sama, kata benda di dalam kalimat itu I know that you do not love me That you do not love me Bisa diganti menjadi you, just you Jadi kalimatnya menjadi I know you Subject, verb, object You sebagai object Jadi sesimpel itu, sederhananya Adjective clause It is a clause that modifies a noun or a pronoun in a sentence Fungsinya sama seperti adjective Setiap adjective pasti menerangkan atau memberi informasi tentang noun atau objek di dalam suatu kalimat Bisa pronoun juga yang diterangkan Biasanya menggunakan kata that, this, which, whose, whose, whom, and etc To make it simple, just take a look at this example Focus on the underline Excel throws a box Titik, nggak masalah, itu main clause Tapi Anda punya dependent clause Which consists of memorable stuff Which consists of memorable stuff Bisa diganti menjadi frasa Axel throws a memorial book Edward cuddles a woman who is weeping Who is weeping itu klausa Dia menerangkan a woman Berarti Edward cuddles a weeping woman Who is weeping itu menerangkan Objek di sana Dia adalah adjective clause The book which Kalista steals explains the psychology of human. Jadi which Kalista steal yang Kalista curi itu menerangkan kata benda di sana. Kata bendanya siapa? The book. Jadi setiap adjective clause pasti menerangkan objek atau kata benda atau pronoun di dalam suatu kalimat. Adverb clause. Adverb clause is a clause that acts or rules as an adverb in a sentence. Jika adjective itu menerangkan kata benda di dalam suatu kalimat, adverb menerangkan kata kerja di dalam suatu kalimat. Adverb sendiri juga punya beberapa tipe. Time, contohnya when, since, until, after, before, and etc. Condition, ada if, even if, if only, only if, unless, in case, and so on and so on. Contrast, even, while, though, although, while, and etc. Cause and effect, since, as long as, because, so that, thus, and etc. To make it simple, just take a look at this example. Text me when you miss me. Kirimi aku pesan ketika kamu kangen aku. Berarti ketika kamu kangen aku itu menerangkan kata text. Dan lain, my soul has dead. After you leave me alone, it modifies die or gives information the time to die. Jadi after you leave me alone itu menerangkan kata kerja dead. Kapan matinya? Ya setelah kamu meninggalkanku sendiri. You do not feel happy because you are with him. Itu menerangkan kata kerja feel, memberi penyebab kenapa kamu nggak bahagia. Berarti why you do not feel happy? Ya ya karena kamu meninggalkan aku atau kamu bersama dirinya. Itu intinya. 